Hello, and welcome to the Home Office Management Expert Podcasts. I'm Helene Liatzos, the home-based business expert. I have done a series of podcasts to help you, the listener, start your own home-based business. I hope you like them and that you find them very useful. We will explore the ways you can create a name for your business that works for you. That's our topic, how to select a name for your home-based business that works for you. A client of mine from a few years back told me that it was easier for her to name her three children than it was for her to decide what to name her business. I thought this was very funny at the time and asked her why she felt that way. Her reply was, my children are named after my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and Sandra D. (laughs) She went on to explain that she wanted a business name that would be a magnet for customers. So she took a long time to figure out exactly how to do that, and I couldn't agree more. The right name can make your business the latest hot thing, and the wrong name can send your business down the fast track into oblivion. You want to make sure that the first time your potential customer hears your business name, it will leave them with a lasting impression. And even though millions of Americans operate a business from their home, Some people just don't take home-based businesses seriously, so you've got to get out there with a huge bang. Your business name should announce that you are a bona fide business. The best business name has to convey the right image, deliver the right message, and target the right customer. It has to be memorable, appealing, and helpful. It should tell people who you are and what you stand for. It is very important that home-based businesses establish their professional standing and competitive edge from the very beginning because your business name is the basis of your advertising campaign. Your business name is your brand, and this is how people will remember you. People buy widgets, but you want them to buy your widget. Think about how you shop. When you go to the store, you typically buy the same brand of toothpaste, peanut butter, and toilet paper. You probably have a favorite fast food place also and wouldn't think of going somewhere else. These companies have spent a lot of money establishing their brand so you know who they are and what what you are getting. They want to make sure that their brand is the one you remember and consequently buy. They know that most people prefer to stay within the comfort zone that they know, so they always buy the same brand. Well, you need to do the same thing. You need to create your brand. So I repeat, people buy a product, but you want them to buy your product. So you've got to establish your brand by first selecting a good, productive business name. Here are a few guidelines on how to start thinking about your business name. Start your naming process by identifying what your product or service is. Be specific, be clear, and be concise. Don't say, I'm in the computer business. That's too vague. There are many different aspects of the computer business. Do you deal in hardware or software? Do you fix computers, build computers, program them, sell them? What do you do with computers? Your business name should tell people exactly what you do. It is an excellent advertising tool for your business, and it is free because it's inherent in the name. I've always hated companies that name themselves J&R Associates. What do they do exactly? Are they plumbers or are they real estate brokers? What about a name like Distinctive Designs? Well, okay, they say they are different, but what exactly do they design? Clothes, flower arrangements, furniture, websites. It is not clear as to what industry they are in and what they design. True for all beginners, I too started out with a name that meant nothing to anyone. My first business name was HKL Enterprises. Sounded important, sounded big, like maybe a 100 people were working there. But it was only me. The only people who knew what I did for a living was my family and they weren't paying customers. I quickly learned that I had to make my business name more specific, more instantly recognizable. 
So I changed it to Home Office Management Experts. This is exactly what I do. I'm an expert in home office management. I help people both start and manage their home-based business. My business name is informative, so customers know immediately what my business is. Over the years, I've answered the following question time and time again. I want to do this specific thing, but eventually I want to add this other thing. So how do I name my business now for growth in the future? This is a very good question. And it takes me back to the point of how to select a home-based business. You need to pick one business and do it well. You can't be a real estate agent and run a mobile pet grooming service at the same time. Well, you can, but why would you want to do this? You want to be serious about what your business is. And if you offer too many things that are vastly opposite to each other, nobody's going to take you seriously. You want to be considered to be the best, but if you're going to be scattered all over the place, no one's going to take you into consideration. Who in their right mind would call a business named Main Street Realty and Pet Grooming? If I'm buying or selling real estate, I want a professional, not someone who is doing something else on the side. If, however, you are starting a home-based secretarial service and eventually can include virtual assistant services, then that would be a good fit, as they are closely related and both fall under the category of administration. So your name could be something like Accurate Office Administration, which allows for both the startup phase and then the additional services you add later on. As a general rule of thumb, don't be too literal and don't be too confined in picking a name. A very specific name will limit you and can often be too boring. Wedding videos is not as exciting as beautiful videos. Beautiful videos can include weddings and other events, so it doesn't limit you. And the adjective beautiful describes what the customer will get, the benefit of hiring you, and that's enormously attractive. All businesses evolve, and you want to make sure your name can carry the expansion with ease and not confusion in the marketplace. That's our podcast for today. If you want to get all the steps to starting your own home-based business, go to www.thehome-office.com. I offer an online course, a digital DVD, and an ebook, all on the subject of how to start and operate your own home-based business. I'm sure that one of those will be right just for you. Once again, please visit www.thehome-office.com. And remember, my motto is, love what you do and the lifestyle will follow.